I need a book. Here's the book. Because <clears throat> I'm going to use some rogue abilities here. Oh no shit, we're getting out the book. We're going to use old a school. Rogue we're going to use the book. Yeah. What? I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to walk up to them and go, hey, Marty, how's it good? Stab. <laughs> yeah. so, sneak attack. Sneak attack. <laughs> Are they not going to be alarmed that you walked through the three, three guards that were there? Five of them will. Okay. Because I'm going to just walk up to them too fast for them to, to uh, I'm walking them very friendly, but too quickly for them to really yeah, okay. to react. And so, I, that is page so one. Before they realize, they're going to stab them. Yes. Well, I'm going to at least get one down. There's still going to be five others. Because I can only attack one person at a time, technically. Anyway, unless I, can, unless I want to be... Because uh... even if I use like earthbending to like, sh- uh, make them trip... They'll still get up next round. Mm-hmm. They will. They're mooks. They're not incompetent. Yeah. So it, it, it's effectively... Then I'm effectively back where I started, where... Because right now I still catch them by surprise. Mm-hmm. You'll have a free action, and then everyone's going to have to roll initiative. And their mooks, their initiative is going to be like after yours, regardless of what it is. Cool. So... And we're terrible people. Mm-hmm. Okay. What am I doing right here? There it is. Okay. So let's do... So I am at second level, so that's 1d6. And then... Where is... He's doing some erosion. Nice. Hold on. Then Cooper is up on the rocks. After looking at the book. Don't judge me. What's going on? No, we're not judging. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out which attack I want to use. Then Cooper I, has dot rocks. Oh, I have... Mo- I, do I have momentum after that last attack? Uh, you so will, yeah. We'll have momentum. Nice. So, let's do shortcut then. That's in One enemy August. plus dexterity August plus 20, level. Right. Is momentum one of those things that 13th Age actually has their combat system that we've never used? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That'll give you two actions then. Uh, it's more like something you can spend to do certain, atta- certain attacks. Um... So that's 11 plus 6 is 17. Okay. So I'm guessing that hits. Okay. Versus AC. Yep. Um, and that does weapon plus dexterity damage, which is... He's dead, don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. So, okay, Shank. Yep. So you have two dead, so now there are four. So now we start the round of combat. So, go ahead and go. Now you have your first turn. Okay. Those were your two surprise rounds. I feel like somebody should have gone with him. So, Shink, the mill guy. Uh, clearly, he's got this shit covered. <laughs> Jump dice over, stab him, take the knife, flip it up, catch it, throw it at the guy across the room. Very nice. It's Are you trying to get Any some drops? drama points? Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, and you're going to animate this for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make me a stick figure of Woodson that shanks a dude in front of him, flips a knife up, and goes... You know those like the the stick figure fights where this person like kills all these... Those are actually a lot of... Hard work. You're <laughs> <laughs> doing a lot of hard work. I need the individual frames. I can animate it. Okay. Badass. Putting the, anima- the the individual frames in sequence is not the fucking hard part of animating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, like, do they get to go now, or? Yes. Now they get a turn. All right. You're going to illustrate full figures, at least, just stick figures. Uh, so their their next <laughs> turn, they're all gonna pull out their weapon. They all pull out their swords. How about I do the keyframes and then you do the twins? I'll do two keyframes. Oh my god. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, and then so uh, now I'm going to um, like use airbending to like shoot forward. Which probably cost me like five. Yep, it'll be five. Uh, to close the distance real quick. Okay. And um, wow, that would be messy. I was thinking uh, t- earthbend ground, c- or I can just use it to throw a rock. Take one of them out. Okay. So that's another 10. All right, their turn. Two left, right? Three. Three no, because I, because no, so it's the first round I killed these two, right? Yep. Then I threw the knife and killed the hand. Oh no, first round you killed him on your surprise. You threw the knife oh, and killed okay. this guy. 
Got so it. you're throwing a rock to kill him. Okay, so yeah, then He's I to your left. do that, and that's okay. Forget the air part of that then, so I'll save myself five. Okay. And then six earthbenders behind you do What's some great dancing. What's your AC right now? AC, uh, normally right. it is right. 22 plus 14, so 36. Okay. So so good luck. That's a miss. Unless they roll a 20. Nope, neither of them roll a 20, so, so I don't miss you. Yeah. So I like basically just dance out of their way and then um, uh, let's see here let's pulse, flip out another knife throw it in the guy's face and then do I get another and then yeah you have another attack because it's momentum damn <laughs> And then let's go ahead and do one more rock to that guy. That's another five. Down to fifteen. I'm I'm not even here, but I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that guy misses. Your turn again. One guy left. To be fair, it's And then for the fix, for the finisher, I like slam the ground, a giant square of earth comes up into the ceiling, okay. under the guy. It's messy. Oh, you squished uh, up against the ceiling. Yes. All right, you squished up against the ceiling. Can we call that five? Those other fuckers in the evil event. <laughs> yeah, that's five. It's stone cold killer. Stone cold killer. Stone. I'm the rogue. Yes. Keyword stone. Okay, wonderful. If you want to bring the cold, if you want to bring the cold into it, it's all other story. Well, I mean, we don't know. He doesn't have any fire bending abilities yet. All right, so. Uh, you, as you slam that guy into the ceiling, uh, you hear a crackle behind you, and you see a guard as you turn, and he's holding what looks like kind of a rod, and lightning shoots out of it. Oh, oh geez, And hits shit. you for 21 damage. Ow. Ouch. I have 24, so I'm down to 3. Does he get a chance to dodge? Not that one. Light. That's a sneak attack because the dude was hidden from you. Oh. Okay. He also rolled a 20. I'm actually having the damage that he actually did. No. So, uh, otherwise, the rogue would currently be dead. Yeah. Because okay. he rolled a nat 20. So. Okay, so I'm going to use air bending to kind of recover and launch myself at him. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to. Um, uh, let's do uh, rock. Let's do earth bending and just uh, launch him. Launch him? Okay. So he goes splat against the wall. Alright. Alright. The room is now clear. I am out of cheek. <laughs> and you are hurt. That was badass. <laughs> <laughs> you just shrugged off a lightning gun. Yeah. Well, he didn't shrug off a lightning gun. No, that really hurt. Take the lightning gun. <laughs> I'm taking the lightning gun. <laughs> uh, so, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to take it because you crushed it against him on the wall. So, uh, yeah, okay. What's in? This is why we can't have nice things. Wait, what <laughs> I'm like, taking the mic. Uh, what happened? Take it anyway. We might be able to fix it. So, the lightning I gun. I will study it later. He had a, a battery backpack on his back. Oh. And so, when he flung him against the wall as hard as he could, he to squish crushed him. The, he crushed the, the battery the equipment pack. that he was using, yeah. so we can't salvage it. Yeah. I, I like bandage up the basics. No, I, no. No? No. It's damaged beyond repair. It's beyond damage beyond repair. Sorry. No, for, for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's you're fine. also yeah. damaged beyond repair. Yeah, sorry. No, I'm not free. You're, I am. You're not yeah. beyond repair. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're smoking. You're, you're literally smoking. Like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Thank God, Thank God no one saw that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, done now. A, well a, uh, 13th, yeah. a 13th age character that's level 2 is supposed to be the equivalent of a 4th level D&D character. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, I got there's, only level, there's only 10 levels in 13th age. So you can go above that. There are certain things that are standard above that. Mm-hmm. Um, but you've only encountered one of them. Which would be Satan Dragon. Okay. So... so you I can't let it. those guys out now. Well, not with the mess you made in that room. I'm out of cheating. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You physically can't release them. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. Oh. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. <laughs> um, you could always kill
heal them more effectively after you've rested. You can't follow us until you're healed anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the book, take the sword, check it. Take the, the bits and pieces of the, the lightning gun. Maybe we can figure out how it works. Okay, fair enough. Salvage some parts, at least. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go out. Okay, so uh, take a few minutes. Breathe. They yep. might have an, another lightning gun in the armory. I will... I will check the lightning. I will check the armory. Also, if you couldn't see him, he might have something on his person that makes him invisible. You should check him. Strip him of all the things that are shiny and interesting. <laughs> I will actually do just a normal... Well, I wouldn't yeah. do that. But I will do a general search of the people and see if anything interest, anything valuable uh, sticks out to me. Right. And I take my knives back. Any good that's loot? important. Mm -hmm. I have four daggers on me, so that's not a huge deal. What's that? Uh, I was just saying, any good loot? No, there are there are not any good loot. It's basic ah. guard loot. Uh, not half nicer than that anyway. Um, okay. Um, take the take the fancy bits. Um, I'll take the remainders of the gun, just to study it later. Okay. Um, at least what I can carry with me. Um, take a few minutes to rest. How long do I need to rest to refill my chi? Not even be a long rest. Uh, <clears throat> have time. <laughs> It'll probably take a while to get get to. Um, because this whole thing probably only took me, like, a half hour. It was a few minutes. Yeah. <coughs> it so, was a few minutes. So if I do do a long rest... Uh, they will he already... said do-do. Yeah. If, if, if you do a long rest, these guys will already be in the middle of the combat down there. It's only half a day's ride. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll do a long rest, and then I'll use my... Um, can I use airbending to, like, make myself run faster? You can ride on the little ball of air and fly around. Yeah. Significantly faster than running. So how much will that cost me to get there? Um, it would be... The rest of us. Don't get, don't, don't get caught. Yeah, right? <laughs> don't get caught using magic. Yep. Um, it would be 15G to ride the ball of air. That's... I can do that. So what I'll do is I'll take a long rest, and then I'll just haul ass with a ball of cheat with an air ball to catch up. Okay. All right. The rest of the party gets to the gates that are made of stone. The stone gates at Malaterra. Yes. Looks are fun. At Malaterra. <laughs> so we're at the stone gates of Malaterra with the. The Crimson Army. Yes, with the Crimson Army. How long did it take us to get here? Uh, about six hours. No, it's half a day, 12 hours. I hope our intel was good. Actually, here, what I will do. Yeah. Our intel was Owen on saying that he was here. What I will I know. do. I know. I'm hoping that until this is still good. Because letting those people um, die horribly in a hole, I don't know if eight hours is enough to um, kill, kill them. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, what I will do is I will make a small hole for them, mm -hmm. like yay big, so that they can't get through, and I will drop a hammer in there, <laughs> <laughs> and then I will go on my way. <laughs> Give them a way out. Yes. That's it. <clears throat> <laughs> Here, don't fuck up. <laughs> uh, you can make a slit and put a pickaxe there so they actually have a reason to Yeah, okay. Uh, some kind of tool that they can yeah. use to um, hack their way out slowly over time, and then they'll have air so they won't just straight up die. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I can throw, like, a, a thing of water in there. Mm -hmm. And, like, here. You were too kind to people who would otherwise kill you. I am. Right. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> you could have just lowered the ceiling. That would take a lot more cheating. Okay. All right. So, uh, you guys get to the Warlock's encampment uh, just a little past noon. And as you approach, uh, you might have horses you could take. Oh, yeah. Um, In fact, you, you have your horse you could take. Would the horse be faster than the um, ball of air? Okay, I'll just take the horse then. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Alright. Give me that cheese. <laughs> so, you guys get to the gates of Malatara. Uh, they are giant stone gates. And as you approach, um, there is a lovely sound. Of he was only half an hour behind us, right? Yeah, the whole thing took me like, uh, well, eight hours now. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I took a rest. So, it's, yeah. yeah, it's basically just eight hours. Yep. If he hadn't been hitting the chest with a lightning gun, he probably would have followed us sooner. Yeah. Uh, by the way, you have one of my coins. You can communicate with me telepathically. Oh, yeah, yeah I'll let her know what's up. Come here. It's like, yeah, that sucks. By the way, do I heal my HP, too? Yeah, you heal your HP. Excellent. Uh, so as you approach the gates, uh, lightning crackles in the sky above you guys, and the clouds uh, swirl and become dark. Unnaturally dark. As, as we, as as we you get approach. to the gates? Yes. Okay. How absolutely disgusting. I'm glad that we're going to purify this place with a fire of righteousness. <laughs> <laughs> starting to sound like a white cloak. The righteous fire. Of yeah, like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> very char- charismatic. They are actually very charismatic. That's actually true. Um, so, with the sky darkening its unnatural gray color, when it was bright and clear, there is there is charismatic as the Spanish Inquisition unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. <laughs> Um, thunder, thunder and lightning roll across the sky. The gates open, and out steps uh, a single person uh, who looks exactly like Elena. This is weird. He's Except holding a lucky. long staff, um, and he has a sword at his side. That makes way more sense now. Yeah. Did I tell you all about that? No. You said that, um... He was busy. He was busy. <laughs> fighting so him. Was, what was it? The the options that we decided in likelihood of... of or in order of likelihood were... Uh, displaced temporal self. <laughs> uh, yeah. Magical yeah. being or twin. Yep. <laughs> okay. So you were fighting himself earlier. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey, hey guys, I, I think I figured out who Alan was fighting when I saw him last. You never saw him. So. Because he's a filthy magic user and would have no association with such a person. Of course, obviously. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. It's just kind of a. So, um. He steps out and he laughs, and and he looks over at the army and he's like, "What? You you guys think you're going to stop me?" And then he slams his staff on the ground, and the shock wave just radiates out and knocks out the entire army. However, ooh, problem solved. Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was a plan. <laughs> General Riga stands there in front of him, and it just washes over him. It gets to you guys, and it just stops. 